is going on, everybody? Anthony here for the ABJ Podcast. If it sounds a little different listening on the audio side, this is my first test of a podcast in person with my new setup. Now, if you're looking at the video, it, I hope it looks cool, right? We're out in the uh, the back patio section of Pilgaroo Brewing Company in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Um, and hopefully at one point in time I can get the same camera I have, but a three-camera setup, so one will be on me, my guests, and that. So right now it's kind of just a one-camera shot, so it's going to be just one continuous shot like you're normal seeing. The future, hopefully, is to get two more of these cameras so I can do three shots, but that's, that's going to come in the future. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, this is going to be a fun test, and if this works out, then I can start doing more in person and when I'm out at wrestling shows or out in places like this when I meet cool, interesting people that want to tell me about their story. So before we get into anything, make sure you check the links below for my, my, my links to support with merch, Patreon if you want to support the Patreon, as well as my guest links that so you can follow them on social media and follow their, their brands and where they, can, uh, where, they, where they reside and how you can support them. But let's get to our sponsor first. Guys, it has finally happened. A whole store fully dedicated to vintage wrestling. They say it could never be done, but I've seen it with my own eyes. Suplex Vintage Wrestling is a store curated by wrestling fans for wrestling fans. Located on 5th Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, just one block south of South Street in the heart of Queens Village. Their shop is the largest collection of vintage wrestling apparel under one roof. Their selection includes classic designs featuring your favorite wrestlers from the Golden Age, Attitude Era, Internationals, Indies, and more. And if you're tired of watching premium live events at home svw hosted the best watch party since your friend kyle's 12th birthday party uh you know back in the day and if shirts and watch parties aren't your thing don't let uh, don't forget their large selections of figures replica belts trading cards and from their t-shirts and hats to rare wrestling memorabilia they have something for every wrestling enthusiast out there so what are you waiting for check them out at suplex.sv on Insta- svw on instagram or at suplex.svw.com and let them satisfy your nostalgia needs also links for my sponsorships are below i do have another one to read here in a little bit um my guest here today we met a while a little a couple maybe about a month ago here at pilgaroo and uh we connected almost immediately we're talking about our passions and our dreams and and he came in with really cool merchandise and he had a cool vibe about him and uh we started bullshitting and we were supposed to record something on the vlog and it just never happened because he was socializing and I was socializing. And then we kind of went two different ways and drank a couple beers. And beers happen, beers especially happen, especially here at Pilgaroo. It's got to bring a little closer to you. Um, but uh, now we're gonna we're finally hanging out. The bar's not really bu- busy. We're able to sneak out here out back. I love this little patio setup. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna chat and we're gonna really get to know each other here because I know a little bit. But <laughs> I really dive in right. here. So introduce yourself and let people know who you are. Nubian Bear. Bring, bring it like ch- right to your middle chest. There you go. Nubian Bear. Barker Films Music. You know what I mean? Associated with Vin Jaws. Super Group. You know what I mean? My man Wiusi. You know what I mean? Ken Tex, the God of Palm. You know, Ray 360. You know, Mike Chambers. Red Fidel. And Tostic, the one arm assassin. And soon the other, the great. Salute. That sounds like a really sick Wu Tang team right there. Like everyone has no, a really dope name. <laughs> we killing it, son. We killing it. I, I tell people like, it's like a a Wu Tang and Public Enemy collage, just because of the music that we're bringing. Now, what type of style is it, or is it like just mix and match? It's a mix and match because Andre is from uh, Philly. You know, Andre 360 is from Philly. Uh, Red Fidel is from Miami. Sundiata is from Reading. Uh, Ken Tex, the God of Quam, he's from New York, Brooklyn. No, Mount Vernon. And Mike Chambers is from North Carolina. Oh wow. So it's like a it's a it's a weird collective, son, but it's it's fucking dope, son. It, it works, bro. Yeah. It works. It really How did does. you guys all meet up? I flew out to Atlanta to do a show at the atrium. My man Godson had me fly out there and I met Andre and couple other people oh and mike chambers because we always all performing so after that it was like yo let's work your shit is dope your shit is dope i like what you just did i like what you just did and you know what i mean he's like yo my man came up with the whole group yeah i mean you can see the breakdown of what it means on on my on my um, social media and everybody was like yo that shit is fire son let's go now where are you originally from New Jersey. New Jersey, what part? 
New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Okay. Yeah. Is that is like central? It's South? like uh, Plainfield, Rawway. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Okay. I, I I do a lot of I did a lot of wrestling in Jersey, and I, I always usually shit okay. on Jersey as a state, but they uh, <laughs> they've warmed up to me. I I, 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 I support my Jersey people, but uh, okay. How did you find Pottsville, Pennsylvania? Uh, my brother's uh, he had bought uh, my brother-in-law bought houses out here, and he started flipping them and shit. Yeah. So we was in uh, Lehigh Valley, and the dude was about to sell our crib right from under. It's like, yo, you got ten days to beat the fuck out. I'm selling this shit. My brother was like, yo, I got a house that ain't fully ready, but we'll work to get you in there. And you know, it was like, fuck it. Yeah. Five bedroom. It was. Now, how long have you been in the in the rap in the rap game? Oh wow. Or hip hop. Or... Just try to keep it mid chest here. Been Sorry. In music <laughs> for. I don't want to lose your speech. I would say since I was seven. Seven? Since seven, I've been, I was introduced at seven, music wise, you know what I mean? But all throughout that chorus in high school band, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it was always some music, singing at home, you know, honing my skills, never in front of nobody, you know, because it came as a surprise to my moms too. So when I finally let it be known that, yo, I could do some shit. And I think I was put here for this shit. For music. And then I believe, yo, I, yo, you really was put here for this shit. So can't nobody tell me different. I know what we doing, son. It's 100, B. 100, what, is, what is the overall message of, of your music in general, not just the group in general? Like, just, like, for your, your My message. My vibe is, and it's funny that all our shit coincide together. It's good vibes, B. You know what I mean? It's to change some shit. You know what I mean? Whatever little change we could do or spark, that's what we're here to do, son. That's what I'm here to do, period. My music, it's redundant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to be saying the same shit over and over, just in different ways. You're going to be like, oh, shit, that's it. Yeah. Same shit. Once you start listening, it's going to be the same shit, bro. Good vibes. Peace and love, B. That's it, son. So from what I heard a little bit, it has almost like a, you have like a Rastafarian like a like like that 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 style in your in your in your singing in your style, yeah. Uh, which I I fuck with. You know what I mean? That's, thank it's, you, thank it's, you. it's it's mellow music, man. You can maybe yeah. uh, you can enjoy some uh, greenery. Yeah. Have a glass of beer. You know yeah. what I mean? And just and just yeah. vibe out. It's a, it's an ear catfish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I could disguise all type of preachy type of jewels and shit to drop in there, but the melody will have you like, oh, nice. Yeah. You know what I mean, I had so many people say, y'all understand what you're saying, but it sounds good. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'm going to just go with that. You know so, I mean? so when did you really start taking this full time uh, of, of coming out to your friends and family and be like, yo, I'm, I'm going to be a musician? What was that breakout moment? I might get deep here. I have to say <laughs> if the first group that I met and got into was a group called Freedom of Identity. My man Kenyatta, he was from Jersey too. And he introduced me to like, let's go to the studio and put this shit down. Let's, you know what I mean? Yeah. So then it was like, okay, okay, all right, word. And so I would say I was like 20, 21. I'm 50 now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm you don't look 50, it. I'm about to be 51 this August. You know what I mean? What's that saying? Not a fucking thing. <laughs> Black it's don't crack, right? Go time. <laughs> yo, <laughs> you don't look it's 50. Fucking go time, dude. Straight up. I, I, yo, I feel that this is my time right now. I shouldn't have had it back then when I was young because I yeah. wouldn't have known how to appreciate it and treat it if it would have blew and been, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. in my, right now, I'm in my right state of mind. All my brothers, we in our right state of mind to receive everything we need to receive from what we're doing right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's. It's coming together, bro. You know what I mean? Like, like oh shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, who who out. are who are some musicians uh, that you lean on or that inspire you, or styles that you kind of reflect, or their message or positivity that you you that you kind of feed from or derive from? Well, as far as message, I would definitely have to say Public Enemy for sure. You know what I mean? Um, for group, just showing unity and like, yo, we come to mash shit up. Wu-Tang, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, yo, we come to 
you know, individually, Old Dirty was my man because I like that, you know what I mean, that offbeat to where you be, what the hell? Yeah, exactly, it catch you off guard type shit. That was my dude. When that you was speak, my you listen. from Wu-Tang, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, Ice Cube, of course, uh, Q-Tip. Yo, it's all over Q-tip. the board. Q-tip, I love you. Lo- yo, I love a lot of I just of watched Friday this morning. Type of, look, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of different shit, bro. Shit, I even like Marilyn Manson's first album, The Beautiful People. That was my shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The dude that shot that video, I was like, yo, I would love to have him shoot a video for me. Yeah. That shit, dude was crazy with the camera. You know what I mean? But it's good music can't be denied, bro. And I listen to uh, shit from Japan, uh, J.P. Wavy. I've never heard of that heard one. Of him? No. Japanese artist. He's got the uh, the um, soundtrack on... Um, not this Fast and Furious, but the last one. Okay. He got the title track on that. Nice. You know what I mean? So I'm all over the board with it, bro. Good music is good music no matter what it is, B. You know what yeah. I mean? But what I choose to represent is something that I feel that could be helpful, not to hinder. You know what I'm saying? Or to get you on a certain frequency and a vibration that's going to, you know what I'm saying? Like other than what's, what's needed right now. Yeah, and what's needed right now, you know what's needed right now. So, cause shit is crazy, bro. It, <laughs> it sounds crazy. it sounds so corny to say, and I think if you try to say this shit in the '90s and 2000s, or even like mid 2000s, people would shit like shit on you for saying it. But man, like we have way too much negativity. There's too much division. There's too much people hating each. Like families are being torn apart for just political reasons, and and. Like everything that should be bringing people together is what's tearing us all apart. And good music and good art can bring the people back together. It's almost that reality check of like, like I said, I'm a punk rock kid, but I also love my hip hop. And 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 like, both we I think we kind of talked about this, man. Punk rock is essentially just poor white people pissed off at the establishment, it's and hip hop is poor black. To pissed me, off that at shit the is hip hop. My you know wife I mean? is a punk rocker. Yeah. Straight up black lipstick, leopard skin coat, shopping at the Goodwill, throwing her fashions together. She turned me on to the dead milkman and all of that. Yeah, yeah. All of that wild shit. Well, but I like that shit. Some of that shit is fucking dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think they kind of. I told her, I was like, yo, this is fucking Keep it. white hip hop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This it, is it, it, really, it really is. It's. it's <laughs> It's it's very it really much is so it's 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 the same, it's the same message just a different drum beat you know it's what I mean? fucking dope bro yeah good music is good music now you talked about you, you like you have an eye for production you said you like the camera work on some stuff you you are part of a little bit of production team as well yeah my sons are more you know with the cameras on I ain't even gonna lie I'll probably hold a couple of lights and shit like that I don't you're part of the team though the you're part of the squad yeah, yeah man but you yeah, know nah, I don't <laughs> the microphone that's it yeah. <laughs> that's my job. You call me. when it's time to get on the mic. That's that's when you. Call so what are type? Of, what are some of the stuff they do, like filming wise? Well, they're shooting um, like commercials for car dealerships right now. They just sealed the deal with um, Kelly dealership in Lehigh. They doing their thing with that. You know what I mean? Um, we was trying to get a couple of places around here, like the um, the guy at the smoke shop. He's about to open up a hookah joint, going up towards Weiss's. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he was like, yo, I want your sons to come through. And- Did you ever see the dude on TikTok who just rolls through with his DSLR camera and he's like, yo, can I shoot you like a quick promo video? And he like has the dude do a thing and he shoots a video and shows it to the guy. And the guy's like, what? Like, just like a food truck. He'll walk up to a food right. truck and just be like, yo, this is what I do. Can I put something together real, real quick for you? Right. And the guy will be like, yeah, let me see what you can do. And he'll just like videotape the guy cooking and do all these crazy camera angles and add like cinematography and music to it. Mm, and it's like, nice. And he makes like a 30, 40 second video of just like putting this guy's business over. Right. And it helps the guy's business grow. You know what I mean? Nice. Okay. And that That's so needed right now. Yeah, man. Yeah. My son was like, yo, we should just hit all the businesses around here and just, you know, let them know that it's available. So I was like, okay, well, so, well let's real quick. Speaking of business here, we're, we're both sipping on the same thing. Oh, we yes, got yes. a little bit of a strawberry peach goza uh, from Pilgaroo Brewing Company. You came in, you're like, what do I want to drink? And I said, try this. And uh, you, you're enjoying it. You're enjoying that it. That shit is quite tasty. <laughs> I must admit. <laughs> Wear it up. This is the beautiful thing about community and 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 how we're talking about small business and yes beer beer yeah. we're at a we're at a brewery in pottsville 
owned by people I truly, truly love. We we don't. This is the first, second time we ever sat down and talked. Yes. And we're bonded over the fact that we're enjoying a great, a great beverage in a great small business, and and this place's community is is they they support music. They support people like myself of creativity and, and this place is just a hub for it nice. and here's a connection right here and we're filming it here just in the back hanging out live for you you know what I mean like this is <laughs> sick like it's dope. really dope hell yeah um, I don't know I love it so if you're in the Pottsville area there's so much cool stuff man how, how has your experience in Pottsville been it's been pretty good you can be honest say. no it's been good <laughs> I mean I had a, you know little hiccups on the block but it's to be expected so I'm not going to make something that's five and turn it into a ten. Okay. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, can I ask, just from experience, so I had friends who moved from where I am right now. Uh, they moved from New York to Monty City, which is like two towns over. And and they struggled a lot because it was a culture shock. If, you know, going from, you know, an area where it was predominantly, you know, a mixed bag of New York of every, every like the melting pot to coming right. to an area that is, for the most part, predominantly white. Right. Um. How much of it do you do you think is hate, and how much of it you think is misunderstanding, because they don't understand culture? I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it would. I would necessarily call it hate because it depends on what they say, what the experience is. You yeah. Know what I mean, well, that's what I think. I think it gets misconstrued as hate, but I think a okay. lot of it is okay. they just like, and it's not. I'm not saying it's not their fault, but they never. Lived it's next to that someone who, to it, that, yeah. yeah, like they never had, yeah. they never had different cultures or st- things like that. But I feel like, exactly, you come to a place like this, you have a beer, you, have, you sit down, you talk to each other, exactly. you break bread. It's you, new to them, so it's 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 a little, it's foreign. Yeah, so they're gonna act, you know, like when you see some or you taste something that you ain't never tasted before. You're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's unfortunate, but. It is what it is. You gotta get used if to I it. If I taste some weird shit, I'm gonna be like, hey, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Who made this? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and I don't blame them for that, you know what I mean? But me personally, I live so many different places, so it's. You're bouncing it's around? To me. Yeah, I was a military brat, so we were okay. in Germany for nine years. You know were, you born, were you born on the base? No, no, I was born in Jersey, but. So my seven, mom was born in Germany on a military base. Oh shit! Okay. Yep, she was okay. born. Uh, my but my mom was the same boat. She lived in Hawaii. She, they lived in Italy. They lived in Germany. Nice. Uh, they were all over the world. Okay. My, my, with my grandfather. Right. Yeah. Nice. Where, where all where all did you experience? You we said lived Germany, in Stuttgart, and we lived in Krausheim. In Germany. Yeah. How yeah. old are you? Uh, seven, and I didn't come back till I was like fifteen. So you, you had a good chunk of your youth in Germany. Yeah. How was that? That was fucking dope. Dude, I, I want to go drink beers in Germany I lo- so no. bad. <laughs> I want to go back as an adult and have some fun. Because <laughs> my childhood was just, it was it was beautiful. My parents made it lovely for me, son. But yeah, I know they had a lot of fun as adults, <laughs> you know. So I definitely want to experience that. You could drink at 14 over there. The beers are fucking... They don't mess around. That's boot. Yeah. <laughs> Word it up. So, um, what has your journey been, you know, going from a bigger area to like the Jersey area and then moving to a place like Pottsville and still keeping? Because when you get in these smaller towns, man, and things close at nine, ten o'clock at night, and uh, it's easy to get caught up in, in shit because there's everybody knows everybody and you're, everyone's in each other's business. And, you know what I mean? Like, you live in a bigger city, man. You can see someone, you never see that person ever again. You know what I mean? It's one of those environments. But uh, coming from that to here and, 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 and still trying to chase this dream at your age, how, how is that, uh, how's that process been? I trust the process. It's going how it's supposed to go. You know, I'm, I'm just laying on my back and floating. I'm not going to fight the current or none of that. Just letting the universe exa- take where you need exactly. to be. It's going exactly how it's supposed to go. And I love I'm that. fine with that. I love bro. that. You know what I mean? I'm enjoying my journey. <sighs> Man, I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be swimming too damn hard and burning myself out. Look, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> I can't float. float. I can't bro. float. My body the current will bring you back in. <laughs> my, my, body, my body does the not let me. The current will bring you back in. I, I always believed that. I always felt that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I, man, it's been... I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving it. 
For real, for real. It's going good. It's where going good. where can people find or listen to your content or your music? YouTube. You can uh, type in Nubian Bear. You know what I mean on YouTube. Can you spell that out? N-U-B-I-A-N-B-E-A-R. You know what I mean? Or you could hit, I got a couple of joints on SoundCloud. You know what I mean? But as far as the uh, the Vinjaws album, we just dropped the two, the Red Black album, which is a green album, going to be dropping soon, too. But you can find those on Bandcamp. You know what I mean? But um, Make sure you send me all that links. I'll, uh, then we'll I'll, I'll throw them in the description we'll below. Uh, if, if somebody were to listen to you for the first time or listen to your crew, uh, what would be the song that you said, like, this is the one you should check out? With me? Yeah. Um... I would say the one I got online right now, the last one I put out, Fauci and Friends, because it's dealing with the vaccine and all of that. Hey, yo. <laughs> Are we going to get controversial here? <laughs> nah, I don't even want to shit on nobody and what they believe in, but I'm not with the shenanigans. I'm not with the whitewash. I'm not with the sheeple type of shit at no shape, form, or fashion. So if you ain't open to hearing some shit and being like, yo, there's some validity to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then I may not be for you. I'm not gonna be for everybody. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and absolutely. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I'm not your cup of tea, I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? But my shit is dope. And I'm speaking that real shit. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it. Um yeah, that is a very polarizing thing. I, I get both sides of the spectrum, right? Because I, I do believe there's a lot that happens so quick and a lot of misinformation on both sides were put out. Yeah. Um, I can't be mad at you for being paranoid or some shit. Absolutely. I cannot. I will I, not. I, I will not scrutinize you, disrespect you, enough. but when I see people with the masks on, I'll be like... See, I, I did the masks. I did everything by the book. I, because I also... I believe in science. I believe in. I believe in science. I believe. Uh, I am. I am a dumb punk rock kid from School County, Pennsylvania. So if if someone in the medical field says, "Hey, you should probably do this for now until we figure shit out," I'm gonna listen. Right. Okay. Um, and and I've been vaccinated as a kid, and the things I'm vaccinated for, I'm good. Like I, I'm I was not, vaccinated as a kid as well. You know what I mean? So when that came out, I was like, I'll take the vaccines. I'll do what I gotta do. If, if I feel like it's helping the greater good, I'll do it. And I did, but I can also see the other side of the spectrum of why people were paranoid to do it as well. You know? Yeah, Absol- I definitely understand that. I totally, completely understand Everybody both sides. Everybody family members that work in hospitals and see yeah. what's really going on and how it's unfolding. And yeah. like, yo, we getting kicked back for just saying it's related to that. Yep. Yeah, what? what? Yeah, companies made oh, a lot. No. <laughs> companies made a lot of money. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they Scare did. Scare tactics. Yes, they did. They made a lot of money uh, during a global pandemic. Billionaires became even more billionaires, and poor people became more poor yeah. during a pandemic. They scared and to death. It was crazy. It yeah. did a lot of crazy yeah. shit happen. I don't there. like that shit. I don't like you doing shit to the people for no fucking reason. I don't like that you have the upper hand and and stopping everybody from. Everybody need to be comfy, man. Yeah. Let Everybody me let me adjust you real quick. To... I want people to hear you, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna give you a little extension, ah, okay. so I keep keep it closer to the mouth for you there. Okay. <laughs> I don't want I don't Pause. want yeah because I normally I normally uh, yeah yeah I normally uh, when I'm doing this in the studio I can hear everything right and now I'm just kind of like banking on this to just like sound perfect <laughs> you know what I mean so well, uh, it, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm nervous I'm hoping again. this comes through we can good do it again you yeah. know what I mean I, I, and, and that's the thing it's not scripted it's all natural no so this is that's if you what ask do. me this shit all over again I'm gonna tell you the same shit again absolutely you know what I mean that, that's the beauty of this is I, I want this to be a conversation essentially the premise of what I wanted to do was like if you meet somebody in a bar and you have a conversation and we get to know each other and. It couldn't be any more than that right now because we were literally at a yeah. bar getting to know each yeah. other. Se- yeah. Second meeting. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the vibes was peace from the door. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Absolutely. This I love this back patio. There's a fire pit yeah, back here and shit. Dope. I love it. I love it. So I love this place. It's my favorite place. That, that was a country song. I love this bar. <laughs> I, I don't listen to country. <laughs> but, uh, 
Yeah. So and then also you have uh, a clothing line. That's yes. so. That's how I first met you. You you came and you brought um, Fitburn. You brought you brought somebody a T-shirt, and I was like, oh look at this guy killing it. And you had some cool art and some cool designs. Uh, so let's talk about that a little bit. How do how do you come up with your stuff and where can people find your clothing line? Well, we have a, um, a virtual store on my Instagram, uh, Teesprings. I'm sure you probably know uh, that. That's, you where, know that's I mean? where all my stuff is. Yeah, Teesprings. Hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, they, do, they don't do the uh, embroidery. Embro- yeah, that's Not coming that soon. I've seen yet. Yeah. I think there's embroidery the hats. They okay. just came out with hats. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, we did this. Uh, my, my son had this one done in Easton at an ABE uh, guy that's... He got a shop in Easton, do yep. his own clothing and shit like that. He's pretty dope. Nano, he's dope. Salute King, you know what I mean? Um, and it's called Fee Burns. It's called Fee Burn. For Burn. For Burn. So, so it's F E B U R N. Yes. Yeah. So you can either Fee Burn weed, Fee Burn calories to get your workout on, <laughs> and my favorite, Fee Burn the Wicked. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. My son's son's going to be taking over the Fee Burn Fitness. You know what I mean? So he's going to be doing that. Uh, Bodies by Zay. Where does, where does the name come from? Me and my son thought of it. Yeah? Because we smoke. <laughs> <laughs> you just get, you, you know bond, I mean? you, you light up, and you, uh, and, and, you know, it'll be yeah, a cool and idea. And the music got a, you know, a reggae type of feel to it, so if it burn. Y'all mind, you heard if it burn? <laughs> True or not. Have you ever been in Jamaica? No. I want to go Never. so bad. <laughs> I want to go so bad. I've been the only place I ever been out of the country was uh, uh, Dominican Republic. Okay, okay. I think my music is out there. Is it? Cause my uh, a, a, a beat maker that I knew in the Lehigh Valley, he's from there, and he said he took my CD out there, but when he came back, he didn't have it. His uncle had it, and he was like, "Yo, uncle, you got that CD?" He was like, "Yeah, man, I took that." <laughs> You ain't getting it back. You ain't getting that back. <laughs> there you go. So all I pictured was like, oh shit, my shit probably blasting in one of the one of the fucking stores out there with a wireless song, just mass speakers, a whole wall of speakers just bumping Nubian Bear. Like, mm. <laughs> where where did Nubian Bear come from? How did that name come about? Nubian Bear came from my man from uh, Freedom of Identity, my man Kenyatta. He was like, yo, you like. With wild energy, so you just be like naturally like you move like a bear, some like the quick strikes and shit. So I was like, mm. you know what I mean? And then we was always studying, so Nubia, you know what I'm saying? Africa, you know what I'm saying? Person of color, so it fit. I love that. So it was bestowed upon me. It wasn't nothing that I just hmm. Not cocaine. You're a weed bear, not cocaine bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Let's get that clear. N- not the cocaine, but and I had the nerve to sit and watch that shit. <laughs> you didn't like it, it dude? Was I lo- fucking crazy. It I was all it. over the place. I fucking love it. Was it was all over the place. I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck are they doing, bro?" When those kids did coke, it was the funniest shit ever. It was fucking hilarious. And Ice Cube's kid is so good. He is. He's so he is. good. So I good. He took classes because he he's good early. He was in the one. He uh, was in the NWA. He played his dad. Yeah, yep. but I was thinking more or less the one. I think that was probably easy for him to do that one. Yeah, but to print the uh, the next movie he was in with uh, the guy from Pineapple Express. Oh, I didn't see that where one. He was his he was friend, and he was trying to get with a reported chick. And he was like, "Yo, you know her from back in the day." He played his friend. Yo, I'm like, yo, okay, he got versatility. He's yo, good. Look at really act, boy. Yeah, you know he's I mean? really so to talented. Act like a, a MC. It ain't too hard if you're from the hood. You can act like a rapper, even yeah. if you can't rap. You know what I mean? I, I think it's when people come from a back... Now, listen, I don't think that kid ever grew up. Maybe Ice Cube was like, listen, man, you're going to struggle a little bit. You're going to feel what I feel. Who knows? Or maybe he grew up like a rich kid. But some, when, when, yeah. when people come from the, that, like, ludicrous and all these other people, like WWE people, they're like, they get to a point where they're just like, yo, they have that fuck it in their system. Like, oh, yeah, I'll go do it. And if I suck, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'll figure it out as I go. It's, I don't know. It's, it's just kind of having that attitude of just... Going for it, you know. Exactly, and it but, worked uh, for him. Well, besides besides music, music and movies, uh, like what what, all, what what when you're not making music, when you're not helping the production team, when you're not doing the clothing line, what 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 do you do to unwind and, and for fun? Are you a big movie guy? Yeah, yeah, I love the funny. You know what I mean? I love funny shit. You know, uh, Jack Black, 
It's my fucking dude. You gotta see Mario. If you like Jack Black, you gotta I see I love Jack Black. You That's gotta my see Mario. Dude, you know Do you like I mean? Tenacious D? Uh, what? So fucking classic. <laughs> Hell <know>. yes. <laughs> Hell yes. Got the fucking movie on DVD. Yeah, it's a great movie. What? Hell yeah. That's my shit. Uh, love shoot 'em up shit. John Wick, of course. You know what I mean? Love karate shit. Um, love re- research and study. You know what I mean? You gotta be careful though, because people do their research and they go on YouTube and no, they have meet- like books and shit. Yeah, yeah, and but, but linking up shit. Yeah, like, but oh. I think what a lot of people do is they watch a YouTube video and then they they consume what the YouTube video is and they take take it as just gospel right then and there. And yeah. it's like, nah, you you can listen to that, but then you have to go and study the other side of the spectrum. You know what I mean? Like for example. Back I, podcasting, I used to do a lot of different topics and a lot of different things. And we did a topic of uh, Aleister Crowley. You know who Aleister Crowley is? Hell yeah, I know who Aleister Crowley is. So depending on... <laughs> and Madame Blavatsky. <laughs> yeah, so depending on what book you read or content you consume of Aleister Crowley, they can paint that dude to be a genius and paint him to be this revolutionary person. Or... You can learn that uh, not so good in certain aspects. Yes. And then and then what you do is you could be like, then you take both sides of that information and go, all right, he sucked here. But his ideas here, here, and here are okay, and they're actually working today with his mindset. You know what I mean? Like, not everything that you everyone does. You can have do- some good ideas and be fucking evil and wicked. Absolutely. And to me, that's what he was. Yes. You know what I mean? Because his, his mom called him the devil incarnate. Yeah. She said he was an evil, wicked child. Yep. What the fuck is that? But his, so like his ideas of self-belief, I think, are very good for people as well. So like if you don't have a higher power or a deity, believing in thyself is just as important as, it, as putting it all of in, in so stock yeah, of a higher power. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I believe in that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Evil, wicked motherfuckers can have some knowledge and jewels. Yes, they can. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Hell yeah, they can. I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. You know what I mean? That's why I don't say I hate people. I may hate your characteristics of the shit that you've shown. I could find qual. I could find good qualities in just about anybody. Yeah. Just about. I mean, there's but some I would people. I have to get to know you. you know yeah, I mean? I there's some just people just like, man, like, fuck I that hate dude. This motherfucker. Yeah. Like, I don't know that motherfucker to say I hate him. I don't like what he just did and what I just seen right there. Yeah. I can say that honestly. You know what I mean? But everything, no, nah, I'm not going to judge that because I don't know. You know what I struggle with? I have too much empathy. So I can watch someone do something really horrible and then I immediately go, well, what did that person go through to get to the point to do that? Right. And, 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 and could, could, a, could a conversation or just maybe a hug or some love could have prevented it 30 years ago to make not him the person he is right now? I get caught up in that, and then right. I and then I justify people's bad behavior sometimes. Oh, okay. Because I, I my empathy kicks in. I right, have right, so right. high empathy. I feel you. Yeah. That's weird. It's a weird. It's a weird take. I don't know. I don't know where that That's just, just went. Love you have for people and, I, and, and seeing the good in, in the person. You know I what try I mean? so and hoping hard. that there's good there. Still. I try so hard. I you put a lot I mean? of faith in people. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. But um, I'm like Batman, man. I feel like people will do the right thing eventually. That's what's up. You know what I mean. That's what's up. I believe they will too, bro. You know what I mean? Some people's path is different than others. Some people haven't been shown proper shit. Like my mom told me. I was like, I called her one day. I was like, yo, moms, you lied. She's like, what you talking about? I was like, yo, you told me if I treat people how I want to be treated, you know what I mean? And it would be reciprocated. I was like, but that's not true. It's not reciprocated all the time. She was like, that's because I didn't raise them. I raised you. Oh. Mom spit it right there. I was like, shit. All right. Okay. Thanks, Mom. You know what I mean? But that shit was dope, bro. I was like, Ugh. It was a bitter pill, bro. Definitely. You yeah. know what I mean? But I, I get it. I get it. I, I really I, do, son. I respect the shit so, of that. Hell yeah. All right, man. Well, we're getting close here. But uh, we're... Like, what, are there any other things out there that a message that you want to get or things that we didn't talk about that you want to put out there? Yeah, this uh, peace and love movement, <laughs> it's inevitable. It's not going to be stopped. The time is now. It was a mass awakening. The malicious intent and all of that shit, your days are done. 
Your days are done, B. Straight up. I love that. Listen, I appreciate you so much. Uh, and help me test out my equipment. For sure. Thank you. I for much me. I much rather have this than like a six second video in a vlog. I think this is a better suit. Uh, I hope it turned out well. I hope you guys all enjoy it. Please make sure you check the links below. Support support him. Go check out his music. Tell him you heard it because of the ABJ podcast. Everyone loves ABJ. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> here, here. Yep. Uh, real quick before we get out of here, I just want to thank one more of our sponsors here, Elevation 1470. Elevate your style with Frackville's brand, Elevation 1470. Elevation 1470 is reinventing the style by bringing traditional and nostalgic apparel to Frackville and the surrounding areas of School County, Pennsylvania. They pride themselves on hometown heritage and community. Elevation 1470 is where the trail begins, and you can find them at www.elevation1470.com to find the latest in traditional nostalgic styles of Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania. Um, make sure you guys check the links below. Support. Do everything you got to do with him, myself, and uh, continue to support the podcast. If you're listening to this on Spotify, make sure you check out the question below and uh, tell me what you thought of the episode. Maybe not as long as normal ones because I am still testing out this camera and I want to make sure everything's good and I'm paranoid as fuck right now. But we'll get it done and the door's always open. We'll love to have you back and maybe interview more people of your your, your, your crew. Hell uh, yeah, bring my sons for sure. The yeah. team will come through. We'll do it again. Let's let's have bring some, some fun. Bring some cameras and get that whole... We'll get like a 360 shit. <laughs> And everything green screens if you want all that i love it you know what i mean all right we'll see you guys next time on the abj podcast here's some music by the converse kid billy trey we'll see you next time <laughs>